Here are the top five flank routes you need to pick up heading into season four of Overwatch 2. God damn, that was a lot of numbers. Starting this list off is going to be the good old classic flank route on Eichenwald. It was out of the map pool for season three, but it's gonna be back in next season. So make sure if you're playing a character with high movement like Echo here, you learn to use this round the building flank to give you an easier dive onto the backline. One that is pretty neat that I don't see people talking about is this one on Pariso. After successfully attacking the first point, it's very common for snipers and supports to take the high ground entering the second phase of the map. With this quick flank route, you can take them off guard at a rather unexpected angle. Another common one on Blizzard World this time is to hike around this rock and open up the backline entering the early stages of Phase 2. However, do know that this one comes with a rather prominent risk factor. On the second phase of Circuit Royale, when the payload begins to move its way up the hill, you can flank all the way around this building to end up in the high grounds of their spawn area and set yourself up for a nice engagement onto the late spawners and backline. I was completely blown away when I found out this one existed. And finally, on Dorado, despite this map being as old as Jurassic World, many people don't know about this flank route here. In their defense, it is rather out the way and kind of at a part of the map that you wouldn't really have a reason to go to, but you do now for the defending snipers or even as a sneaky engage to point A. I hope you enjoyed these flank routes. Which one was your favorite? Let me know down below.